Okay, I'm just going to do a quick recap on the Magnavox, what I've done so far. This tube tested shorted, although like I, but the video got cut off, I, I don't believe that's stopping me from getting sound. Uh, having a shorted tube is not a good thing, but I don't think it's going to prevent the sound from coming through. I also hear a slight hum in the speaker. So as I said, I went around and I took the voltages here. I have my plate voltage and I have my uh, 110 volts right here on pin 3 which is the input and this comes from the volume control the volume control is tucked way in the front of the set so it's really hard to get to but I can get to I can I can get the t to the two cables one from the detector over here I want to check the output of the detector over here and then the volume control could be shorted, could be open, I, I have no clue. But I'm going to test it at these two points, right here and right here on the chassis. Uh, I did notice that this voltage here is high. This voltage right here on the cathode. The cathode isn't grounded here, but uh, it, it reads like 200 something volts. And I remember being told that if the voltage is high, could be an open capacitor. So I'm looking at one of these two capacitors, section C. Section C of C2 or C4. Um, there's a couple of ways I can do that. Uh, we'll go to the chassis. Okay, I have the chassis just pulled out enough to get to those two um, signal cables, but there's a capacitor there, that big silver one. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I believe that's one of them there and the uh, C section of the other capacitor I'm not sure if it's it might might be the can right there so what I'm gonna do in the meantime is I'm gonna do it two ways uh, for starters I have this set of headphones here that I've used for years I like it because it's nothing more than a battery operated guitar headset regular headset but one section, one side is stereo, off, and guitar. So I have it on guitar. Runs on 9 volt battery that zippers in the top here. And uh, there's a 9 volt battery in there. So, and in a later video, I may use my little amplifier here and a speaker and run some, uh, run some sound through those capacitors and see what we get. But for right now, I'm just going to check the detector. What I've gone ahead and done is uh, it's just a normal set of headphones. And I've gone ahead and added a capacitor in line in the female jack. Yeah, there's a capacitor in there to block DC. Like I say, the fact these are battery powered means I can't get into too much trouble. So I'm going to attach the ground to the chassis and then we're going to use the orange Make sure I'm on here I don't know if you can hear that but let me check this. So basically now I'm clipped on I'm clipped on the um, the output of the volume control there I'll bring this set up See if we hear any audio in the speaker. So it's coming on. And we do have sound. You see how easy it is? And why are you always so sad? Got tuners acting up here. So that means volume is working. You're going to stand there all day? Get started. We've lost too much time already. 
it means we are right here. So the sound is getting to the audio output tube. Now I've gone ahead and ordered a new one because that one tests shorts. I'm guessing this capacitor here is open or this capacitor. I'm not going to start messing with the vertical height yet. Is this a sensor? I was wondering what this thing was. The Magna... Oh, it's the Magna Bright or something like that. I was wondering why the brightness was changing on its own like that. So that'll do it for the Magnavox for the moment. The voltage, one voltage on that tube is too high. We gotta find out where those two capacitors are. We need to find out where. C2 and C4 is. C2 is right above the power transformer. Well, C4 is a 20 at 350, which I can't find anywhere, and we have a 100 at 50 for C. I'm gonna assume that's that tubular one behind the board there. 100 at 50, 100 at 50, or 20 at 350. Well, I don't want to over troubleshoot, but it's neither of those. It's neither of those capacitors. So we can wait for the tube to come in, or we can ch check that output transformer one more time. Two hundred and five ohms. Okay. I had this capacitor incorrectly, this 20 microfarad, this 100 microfarad, to ground. The positive goes to the negative of C4. The negative of C4 goes to the positive of C, the triangle. And that just billowed out a bunch of smoke. And it was installed properly. A green. The green. going to the negative. That's correct. Again, the minus goes to the positive of the 100 microfarad. So that cap has to be open and there has to be a large potential of something's going on with this tube. Oh, this transformer is shorted. We're going to look at this a little more. Like I say, I have a tube on order, but um, maybe we should wait till the tube comes in. I'm gonna check that transformer again. And we are correct there. That is our C4, that 20 at 350. And the the negative of that goes to the positive of the capacitor right there. And when I did that, jumped one in, after a few minutes the thing smoked like crazy, so it vented for sure. So what next? So next we'll check this transformer. We'll um Disconnect the primary and test it. Can a shorted transformer short out the tube and take out a capacitor? More to come on that, but we have sound, just not its sound.